Philip, thank you for joining us today. If you could tell us which team you play for and what position you play. So I used to play for Fulham and Barnet and now I'm at St John's. My team too. Um, I'm a centre midfielder and uh, yeah, that's, what, that's where I play for St John's. Your career, what's the top highlight from it? I definitely have to say my first international cap, my first international tournament in uh, Hanover in 2015. So that was under Philip Gardner. And that generation of players, that was, that was a, yeah, we, were, we played such good football back then. We came third in that tournament. We lost to Turkey in the semi-final. I think it was 2-1 in the final. Yeah, that was a really close match as well. So you're not long back from Malaysia in the World Deaf Football Championships. Tell us about your experience. So it was the World Deaf Championships. It was, a, it was actually a really tricky tournament. Yeah, the, the international standard for football is really, really high, so it was really difficult. But we did really well. We got to the group stages. Then we played the USA in the last 16. We lost 1-0, unfortunately. In Malaysia then, the heat must have, you know, been really hard to deal with. Did it take over? Did you cope? I'd say in the afternoon it was really difficult because it was a half past four kickoff, so the humidity was except they were really, really high. So it was, imagine playing in 33 degree heat, but it felt like 44 degree heat because of the humidity. It was so difficult to run on the grass. On, yeah, it was really difficult. Lots of us wanted need water, water's breaks, but the referees didn't even allow it. But you said the standard's really high compared to Germany back in 2015, where you first played your first tournament. And now we're talking eight years ahead. Is there a big difference? Yeah, so some international team, our players get paid full time, but we, 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 most of us are working different Luxury. jobs as well as playing football. Yeah, professionals. Yeah, so some of us have two different jobs. So we've got our Monday to Friday job and our weekend job is playing football. But interna some of the international players, yeah, they're playing, they're getting paid for it full time. So it's a lot easier for them to train. So if they have things that they need to work on, they can do that. Um, Yeah, so we've, we've got a long way to go. Next World Deaf Futsal Championships, then they're in Brazil. That's coming up soon. Are you excited? Um, have you got any aims or aspirations, what you want to achieve there? I've always said at every tournament or before every tournament that you just take it one match at a time. So the first match is always the hardest. We're playing Switzerland. That will be the first game. And then Denmark. And then we're playing uh, Kuwait. So I, I, we, we don't know that team very well, so it's a bit of an unknown team. So I, I love playing an unknown team. Like that's, that's a real challenge for us. So we have to yeah, try and get used to their tactics, their strengths, and know ourselves and our strengths. So you also have work and football, so how do you balance that? You've got 11 aside, you've got futsal, you've got work. How do you juggle those? Yeah, so that's why at the moment, yeah, my, my football, my social life, I don't have time for my social side of things. My family, my friends, I've had to sacrifice a lot. I've committed a lot to football and futsal. So a lot of the time I play 11 aside on one weekend, the next weekend I'm playing futsal, so it's really difficult to prioritise. And in a, in a month I might have three matches within a month, and then I went to Malaysia as well, so it's actually quite tricky. I wanted to yeah, say thanks to the, my, the company that I work for because they've actually been really flexible with me and allowing me to take that time. Thank you ever so much for coming today and good luck with the futsal tournament in Brazil. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to speak with both of you.